Alola, I'm Duraludon, and today is my 18th birthday. At least it is on the day I'm posting this video. So, now that I'm 18, I have a lot of responsibilities, but I also have a lot of privileges. I'm now legally able to buy M-rated video games, watch R-rated movies, talk in movie theaters, talk back to my parents, visit websites without having to worry if they're going to ask me if I'm over 18 or not. It's great. And at some point, I watched a video with my friends where these two people found fan fiction written about them. And so they read it in the video and made fun of it. And I thought, that was funny, I wonder if I can do something like that. And so I couldn't really find anything about me because not enough people know who I am and also before today, I was a minor, so that would be an incredibly poor taste, even more poor taste than the other two real people that you should not be writing things about because they are real people. However, I did find two fics that featured a Duraludon as their main character, which is all well and good, and I am rather experienced in inserting myself into situations, so I thought maybe, just maybe, I could see myself in one of these. And that was an experience. I found two different fix. The first one was, a, was chapter 14 of a 29 chapter long, one story per chapter that really doesn't have anything to do with each other type of thing. And, uh, let's just say me thinking about it is almost enough to get this video demonetized and marked as not safe for children. So I won't talk about that. I'll talk about the other one. This is The Meaning of Love, part three of a four-part series by a wonderful author who I have linked the Twitter of because that is their main platform of communication. And this series is sort of, well, it's mainly about Leon and Raihan, the champion and gym leader, and their relationship over the years. And part three is a flashback to when they first start the gym challenge, and that story f focuses mostly on Gladiolus, Raihan's Duraludon. For some reason, Whenever Gladiolus gets put through Google Translate into Chinese, it comes back as some variation of Tan Diol Po. And that's what I did to the rest of it. I took the entire story and I put it through Google Translate and I read it in this video. I was originally going to have this big thing with like pictures and Google images and stock photos, but uh, I kind of ran out of time to do that because there wasn't a whole lot of time between when I could actually go on the website and say yes I'm 18 and when this video is posted. So I really couldn't uh, do a lot of things about it. So I ended up just finding this one stock photo. This is not my actual living room, but I found me and I found this television that I was gonna put slides up like a PowerPoint, but again, I didn't have time. And so hopefully the captions will work, but even if they don't, you can still hopefully understand what I'm saying. Uh, with the author's permission and blessing. Thank you a lot. Here is Google Translate Reads Duraludon Fan Fiction. The Meaning of Love, or as Google Translate calls it, What is Fantasy? Part 1. Tang Diol Pu on the Meaning of Love. 
Gladiolus is a Duridon that emerges from an egg that grows under a small child. She is a daily teacher. In the eyes of the dragon, he knew what he liked when he died. Gladio loves Rahan very much. He loved her because he was more than half as big as she had supported young Wright when he reached his full potential in one year of Rahan's life. He cared for the heart of tomorrow, sticking to his side from day one as their daily life went on every year. Gladiolus saw that his beloved trainer had turned into a dragon inside him. With great effort, strength, and determination, Ray Han Fela transformed into a kingdom that would be considered a ruler for himself or his mother and father, Odur and Jilad. He also took Uncle Nargis to the wall and the man he loved was his grandmother, Dahlia, who was a Reich invader. Claudiolus did not blame him. Every day, many saw Lehan the squirrel hiding on the floor of Hemelok Castle. Take a look at the sneakers, face, and hands of Claude Dahl. His young teacher was the only class he and his father accompanied his mother. His mother was a gymnastics finalist for a while, and his father was a competitor in his school. Rihanna said the whole word while teaching Gladys and how to fight her. To Sylveon Titania and became a good friend of Tan Dior Poe. You know that, she used to say when Odella and her son stretched out a sandwich in the palace courtyard and sat down on an old fountain plate. They enjoy talking. He Han Han Lord didn't know much. Roy Han also remembers. She's always smart. Maybe Titania feels like broken metal. It's not easy as a parent. Perfect. She teaches her audience. Rayhan's teacher for you. He blamed him, but Gladiola never thought of Ryan. He really loved Ryan, his friend and co-worker, and the disobedient inner dragon consciously became a tool of honor. Little Carl Bruno's degree was great. celebrate Word of the Sword, one of Ron's brothers, on her seventh birthday? Silver tea? Oh, it's hard to say. Young t-shirts screaming and screaming. Although Rihan mocked, Gladiolo agreed. One of the two abandoned children abused a speechless girl and her relatives at an uneducated branch near Golcod. Ryan, one of his lawyers, throws a cake at the angry boy and tells the other kids to fight for less food to live a happier life. Brian lacks information understands why Gladiolus understands. You know it all on the phone. To celebrate her ninth birthday, when Ryan leaves the ceremony in a new style, she wears an elegant silk dress and shoes and shirts, shiny and high heels on the unusual high staircase. Shut up, shout. Before his eyes could climb the tower in record time, Tang Diolpu allowed him to climb on his tail more than anyone else until he and Ryan sat on the roof of the upper ring of the hammer in hand. There are others. Mr. Ford shuddered at midnight, and when Ryan finally broke up sadly, he greeted Don Guapau as he shouted in front of his friend's jacket how much he hated being away from his parents. They agreed. When the parents returned on the day of on the seventh day, the fat message did not understand why name Gladiolus. I know he's Angela. Rihanna's life is lost in front of her. It means the spirit to guide the one she loves. Every step that comes to Rihanna's heart is full of love and stability. It was only a few nights before Ryan turned 13. Gladiolus reluctantly turned his back on Ryan, staring at his office door with cold eyes. He wears a white shirt in his suitcase. Lean on your shoulder. Was he with you? He put it on his face. Almost in the afternoon, Gladiolus heard only the sound of debate. Rehan cried. Dad, in a healthy voice, Rehan didn't even recognize him. 
Gladiolus, I... Rayhan began, pulling Gladiolus to stop the baby. You do not need to accompany me. Gladiolus pulled his head out of his pocket and read it carefully. I... Do not choose Tendio Repo Rock, read carefully. Her hands were white and her face was teary. Please, it's calmer now. Tell me, do you want to go with me? Gladiolus. Yes, Basil is a friend. He nodded, hit himself with a stick, and pushed the ball back. She rubbed her eyes with her nose. <laughs> she rubbed her eyes with her nose and her hands and looked at Rihanna and smiled. He smiled at the ball and smiled. Thank you very much, mate. He released and released another gladiolus. Dalton returned to the curved cabinet and picked up a handkerchief for the couch. Rihanna secretly wiped her eyes and smiled, then fell to the floor without ceremony. She looked at Ryan confidently. The boy made up his mind and he smiled through his nose. Simon, get out of there. Claudius does not know where he's headed, with a car, if it was not for himself, but he knows something. It means that he is on the edge of the earth when he dies. Part 2 Finally, Ryan Gladiolus takes his father, Philogene Sirius, to the Pokemon Garden and meets at home and laughs cautiously. Glad Gladiolus looked at me. Where is the master going? he asked. But when Lehan went to Penline, Tropins was still in Hamrock. Many of the traps belonged to Sari, and Lehan knew them well. Gladiolus is embarrassing. With a pencil, Philon closed his mouth. Dragonborn, the right answer. We just noticed that. I saw your bag. Parker, the sling. He's gone. Yes, I do not know where I am going. Gladiolus and Sirius smiled. I know I'm everywhere with him. Hi, oh! Rihan shouted, and the two valleys turned back and looked at Ser Trepin angrily. If he doesn't want to be arrested, he has to be closed. When Sirius and Tang Diolpu saw the surprise, they got up. Do you want to know more about Captain Galaha? No, Saros said with a smile on his face. However, this trip may not be good for my teacher. I want him to find his way before someone visits him. The little dragon talking to Turpin bit his favorite canvas, just hugged him, smiled, and pushed the ball forward. Come in? Dropinch took the ball in the middle. How? Ryan shouted, and Claudius rejoiced. It was noticed that Celsius Guardiola shook the train and announced to the public that he had a broken Pokemon in his mouth. Oh, it doesn't look good, but Pock Pockmon metal has a nice metallic texture. Royhan started with Dan Diolpu and Tropinch and looked at music. Sirius waved to them, turned his head, and handed the trap inch to Rahan, who, as he left, closed the door behind him. Especially the constipation is a little bitter, but I want it to be fresh and beautiful. When Rihanna is taken out of the woods, Sirius tells her that the flying Ceres can run fast if she wants to. If you list him, he'll behave. I know for sure. Thankfully, Ciri's eyes, said Rihan, started to look at Felgen with tears in his eyes. Thank you, Ciri's, the boy said, and the CEO's eyes widened. Flygon's heads bowed as Rihan breathed. I hated my father. He complained, and he may have agreed to complain. I need to be corrected. Sirius closed his mouth and closed his eyes to Rachan. The leader went to Long Tang Jalib and cut a hole. Pay attention, he said. I know that Dukes Felice and Chase O'Donoghue know how much they love each other. 
thank you to the Dawn Commission for meeting Ryan. The coach looked him in tears. He lowered his head to Seru for the last time and hugged Lee Han gently. Part 3 Ryan may want to move to Motostock. Unfortunately, while fleeing from Boligolov train, the train did not have time to open. 23 o'clock His hands and Tang Dio Pu were helpless, but his happy face was warm. He smiled happily, knelt in front of the number, and gave the boy a driving line. Is that fair? Ryan laughed and rubbed his eyes. Tang Gla Pu leaned over and said that he knew Ryan. When the boy held his hand and pushed his tail, he smiled at her, and Tang Uspu stood up and forced Lehan to fall into the trap. Motostock, will Don Gla Po take me away? Dolphin fish products have a simple warranty and are durable. Fortunately, there is a front door, and many people don't work at night. The forest is in front of him. Lily sighed from a distance when he saw the grass disappear. He felt that a beautiful and easy journey would not wait for travelers. It didn't matter if he was joining with Thales under the stars. The sky was clean like the night after the storm. In the background, Tan Halapo saw a storm in front of him, as if the sky was moving from the highest level in good weather. He crossed the little husting foam lake as the creators of Pokemon closed their nightclubs and crossed the bridge between the motorcycles and the hammer hooks. He sighs and shakes his head before entering as the staff near Marka stands by him. Gladiolus avoided the man as much as possible and knew that he was arrested now, he would be sent to Rehan's home. The only problem was walking down the moto drain when Don Glapu was sitting next to the children's room under a large sofa. She was close to dating sites, so she spent the night waiting for Rehan to come to Motostock in the morning to open them. The first night of the trip was difficult but Tandilo Raika thought he could do it. Gradually, it rained, and Gladiolus did well, but Gladiolus threw Raishan's hand to keep her from getting wet. The next morning, your coat is rusty, but a visit to the Pokemon Center, no matter what, will solve it. Part 4 Admittedly, Gladiolus was right. Tulu stood up better than before and went with Motostock. Gladiolus did not know why Rehan wanted to go to Motostock, but he continued to ignore the team members who slept rusty in the water last night. Ryan is clearly about to end, or intends to compete with Ryan, who started from the day they arrived at Motoscope. With the strength of the officials, the pride and attitude of starting the game until he gained the confidence put him into trouble in the eyes of other competitors at Ryan Motorstock Stadium. Tang Diopu retained his defensive position, but Little Trappin did not call Raihan, but he was happy. Of course, Tang Diopu thought he should start from the weak threat layer after a short test. And Raihan and, without hesitation among the employees of Macrocosmos, registered. Tang Dolo is happy because Iran is starting to want to become a teacher. When Don Galopo was surprised, a young boy from Rachin came to him a few years ago and took off his coat. Raha stared at the short boy as his purple hair fell under the rough cover. What's the point? Liana was different when... Turbinchi pressed his jaw into the contract. You are small. Your door, Aldon, is starting to rust. The club lied, screaming in his face, and his fingers hit his nose. Basically, Rehan replied that Godi Dolos would be ashamed. He tried not to let Rehan see that the boy was right. There was an egg, left hand, egg, left shoulder. But he didn't want Rehan to worry. The child is on the table. I love it. Yes. The boy grabbed Ryrena's hand again and again and pulled her out angrily. 
Ehan looked at the boy and protested, brushing his teeth. Far. Very high. JK skin go. Think there's a tie devil? I'm lion of the week. The boys were amazed until Lehan surrendered. I am an athlete like you. Who are you? Ryan admits. I was just a kid. You're a boy! Leo closed his tongue and Ryan slapped both hands. Mom, it's an insult not to change people's names. So say your name or I'll start calling you... Oh... Uh... Button! The red-haired girl is bitten by a whale. Yes! What a song to say! Leon Huff! Patine! This is Rihanna... Durbaton, Rohan repeated. Respect! If I let go of Pokemon's iron, I don't want anyone to respect it. Leon Postwick's pictures are slow and Gladiolus finds him funny. He gently shook Gladiolus and dragged him, where Leon LeBlanc grabbed him and waved a large piece of Gladiolus' last hour with his finger. Which one? Rihanna's eyes widened as she looked at Gladiolus, her head bowed in confusion. When did he arrive? Last night in the woods? It rained last night, yes. Leon shook his head, returned to the bag for something, and Rihan surrounded him with arrows. Red, lamb outside. Can you help me? He went downstairs and picked up Leatherman, who was slowly waiting with me. Leo laughed and laughed. Okay, big red leaks. Don't miss my Dirkton. Rahul knocked on the door, but he was glad to see Glamour Gladius. A, a typical mountain struck him a little, but Gladys Leon tossed his trunk to remove rust. When Leon removed the other members of the group, he was silent and surprised to hear that he was finally removing them. Tang Deal Poo looked slightly at Charmander, Red Right. Thank you. This is tragic. Not to him. Charmander's coach pulled the post and he laughed in love with Gladiolus. When he realized that his coach was embarrassed, he looked at Ryan, who was happy that his joints had been sorted. Her face darkened. Gladiolus moaned sweetly and took Ryan's hand gently. Did you make a mistake? I'm sure your coach will call you a fight, Radius said softly and his red eyes lit up. He shouted at Leon and Leon. Yeah, good, he said in surprise as he took Lucina's hand. She! It has grown. Me! We? Sonia Leo's red wife, right? He shouted at you. Here! How are you? Clear! De Leon proudly picked up the red ball. His smile widened and he burst out laughing. I'll be with you, Reagan. Nerd! One of his employees was placed in the lead, and suddenly Leon Rahan and he took him in his shirt. The two boys were arrested but immediately released. Fight outside. While we respect your sacrifice, we urge you to strike it so as not to harm anyone. I will take care of this. Leon has red hair as he walked past her. Thank you, Sonia, he shouted, and Ryan threw himself ironically. Tang Diopu kicked him back as Reed placed him by the tail and left. Unfortunately, he pulled the small blanket from the teacher's face because he knew it was quiet. I hope these new kids can become friends in the future so Raihan will remain loyal. He was so angry that the demon hit him in the back with his hand. Your train sounds like it didn't park. He spoke to Isaac the Great and Big giggled. He's a little upset, but he's a good guy. He's really a good guy. I want to know, Cicero shook his head, but at first. This is ridiculous. Part 5 In the end, Lai Khan won the war. The account is simple. The red training stick is still small. Neither Don Glapu nor Ren have coaching experience, but they are stronger than Leon and his friends. Just met Amber, and the skin of the past. 
Leon failed and played two Pokeballs in Raheem's hands, grabbed the red, and quickly ran away. Ryan blinked, and Voodoo ran in the opposite direction of the drop-in. Tangdiopu saw Ruian leaving, swallowed, and so on. It's not a good way, is it? He held on tight and shook his head when Rena saw him. I don't. If their soul doesn't love this sweet baby lion company, Goldlock will. Part 6 Gladiolus found Leon and Red on the other side of the motocross, where major restoration work was underway. The rain started, the cow was full of dark shades, matched Leon's appearance and the two metal boxes tied at the corners. Gladiolus knew he was drowning again, but he was not upset when he cried to hear the Red. Leon Ball appeared to have pressed Poke Red with his hand to protect him from water, and Gladiolus realized he couldn't let go. He knew the, that the rich man would wake him up when he returned to the world. Gladiolus stopped in front of Leon, caressed his head gently, and Leon stopped in his arms between hiccups to look at her, wondering why the rain had stopped on him. He leapt up to see Gladiolus hovering over him, and he left for dear Ludan in a ginger. Cloudy slowly looked at half his hand and gently grabbed it, and Leon smiled. Release me. Big screen, son. Tamir, Leon's lover. Leon trembles and Gladiolus helps his leg. As Gladiolus' body began to darken, Leone jumped up and sighed and bowed his head. Then get up. It shook Siski and Gladiolus. Sorry, I'm awesome with instructions. Gladiolus released him, and he and Leon reached the second level of the motorcycle team and made Voodoo drop the hotel in the rain. He's asking what's going on, Leon said. Gladiolus' grip was declining, but Duraladon slowly took his hands before heading to the hotel. Look at Dora Rodin. Look at the lost child. Paper. Mercy. Gladiolus was shocked to see the officer standing in front of the hotel with tears streaming down his face. His other hand was in the Grolitus breast milk contest, complaining that the Pokemon puppy had released Basil Gladiolus. Officers lean over Jenny Ryan and point to the Gladiolus. Closer to the hotel, he said Leon was ready to cry. Look! Yes, D! Raychan reached Trepanchu, who was with him, took the cloth from his hand and wrapped his arms around his shoulders. Slowly, she began to look before pulling it. The boy looked up and saw Gladiolus coming. Galdalos! Rihan shook his head and quickly brought it to Daldo's fingers. Where are you? I think I'll give it to you, I think. I... Gladiolus gently hugged her, as Leon put it in her mouth to make her stronger from behind. Thank you, Hutong, Liu thanked. Thank you, thank you! As the, as the islanders shook their heads in metal clothing, they shouted incessantly. He thought it was just a lull. She hopes this is the beginning of a love affair. Officer Jenny soon takes care of everything, helping the two boys get into their rooms, after helping Leon and Sonya check in together, and when two hold the ground, Officer Jenny left Raihan, his only trap engine Gladiolus in their hotel room, bound to help Leon heal his Charmander after he spoke kindly. He kindly left a bottle of Pokemon Ludo He kindly left a bottle of Pokemon Remover Remover and a cleaning cloth on the table at the door coming out, but not without loving him on a good night. Good night, Luna Jenny, Ihan grumbled and kissed her. Will you give your partner a better look next time? Say it. And don't face that enemy! Sleep well. He slammed the door, and Richin stared at the man in tears. I'm sorry. Suffering is not mild. 
I don't have one. Gladiol nodded as Trapinch grabbed Jenny's first aid kit. I did. Yes! Lahan cried, and Tang Gallop shook his head and took the boy for a drink. Ryan grabbed Don Galpo's metal flash with both hands and held it tightly. I won. I never thought about you. He called out by making a small splash on the computer, after which Basil and Dan Dialopo were arrested. If Leon is arre- if Leon is against us, I'm not right. If I come back after the war, it's my fault. Ryan grabbed Don G. Nova, hoping to tell the coach he wasn't guilty either. I yelled at Leon and, and this he left, and then he sparted himself to Sonia because it was Leon and, and I had a big problem. Somewhere between Ryan and Gladiolus, who Ryan Hugs did, without just. I wanted to go to the gym, but I did before. It's not your fault. Gladiolus was softly blue. She was. Trapinch let in a sigh, and Gladiolus realized it was the first time he had spoken. My father caught me crying while we cried. Gladiolus, saying he didn't know what it was when it was the Chinese leader Trapinch of Galahad, but he knew the Pokemon boy had a similar effect. Sometimes Ryan cries and cries alone. Duke Galahad, Duke Galahad can easily find him in the dark as a son. He's hugging me! Trumping slapped Ryan in the ear and shouted at the boy, but when he pulled away from the little Pokemon and rocked gently with him, he laughed out loud. It hurt a little, you know. You, but Gladiolus took a breath of relief. But Dad always said Trump shows his love. Wait! The trapeze is dry. Claudio nodded and turned to Rihanna. You think... He hesitated, and Gladiolus held his head gently. Rihon laughed softly when Duraludon patted his head through his headband. Tang deal, can we save him? Don Gla could tremble, he asked. You think like that? You just create the energy to make friends, says Khan when the turbine hits Ryan in the cheek and the boy stops. I wonder what to do, Ryan said with a smile. Big complained fondly. He took Rehan's hand and gently pulled it away. Rehan shivered and Gladiolus pressed the victim's hand back. We will be fine. Part 7 When Ryan sat in the pool at Hummerlock and saw the wind blowing through the building, everyone crossed the street before reaching Halberry. The Gladiolus coach made sure he didn't fall in farm. Well, he worked hard on the grass and wondered when Leon and Sonia would bring their new friend to Turfield. After the opening ceremony, Rihanna said nothing to her and Lion looked the star in the eye and they saw a crowd in the middle of the stadium. Gladiolus could see Rihanna as she grew up. Like Leon and Sonia, they wanted to be with him and make the audience laugh. Leon seemed to look at her the same way. Eventually, Raihan never spoke to them again, until they caught him on the bridge along Route 5. Leon and Sonya's new girlfriend was a dark-skinned girl with high hair, in a half-pony. He hurried to walk in front of them to pick up something he saw on the ground, going proudly as he blew it up, letting Leon and Sonya see. He's leaving! Nice coat, he said. Oh! Change of gold. Look at me! Look at me! As Leon ran forward, confessing to Gladiolus on the bridge, the two girls gathered to see the feathers. Oh, you have a character! Surprisingly, he ran into Tang Glapu's arms. Relax! Welcome! Hey! Raihan broke down, and Leon went close with the boy. Here I am, you know! It makes me grady, Leon said. It's not you. Raihan seemed to be slapped on that, and deflated slightly, stepping back from the pouting boy as he rubbed his hand to a sheep. Gladiolus sounded an alarm about that, and reached out that his trainer could keep his shoulder smooth. Leon Gladiolus looked weak to see Leon leave to assist his coach. 
Trap Hitch looked at him, tilted his head in the air, and threw up his arms. Quadius, who's right? He asked, but the guard nodded. Zoo Bibi. Hannah. Who? Isn't this Rabbi Reicha? The new girl asked, and Rihanna jumped to her feet to see if Sonia and the girl had come to her. She brushed her hair before removing it and after spraying it on her eyes. I hope you increase it. He is talking on you. I'm just not good enough to know who you are, Raihan grumbled, and the girl smiled at him. Oh, one day you will see me without asking my name. He is proud of his coming. He huffed. <laughs> he huffed proudly, stabbing her in the shoulder. Me, I'm a challenger, Jim, like you. Kuma, Rihanna agreed. Lane looked up, and no one else. Hey, where would I go, Count Raihan Shtick? He asked, shoving Raihan's arm, and Raihan glared at him. I beg your pardon, she shrieked. Her eyes narrowed to the pieces, and Nessa sighed. Good luck, he said, but it was not observed. He put a finger to Leon's face. Fight with me. Again? Sonia complained, but when Leon threw her bag at her, she smiled. I'll take you. Big and drawn Pokeball. Raihan watched angrily as they shot at each other and fired at each other. I'm stronger than we fought. To be? Raihan shot back. I wish you couldn't beat me. Floor I deep a Charmander ice cream. Be patient with them. When they face each other, they are ready to accept the coach's orders. Leon is a good boy. Yes, yes. I will stay here, Gladiola spoke, and Leon spoke quickly. Hey, Raihan, he said. Don't increase the relationship, he said. He said. He shouted. Tan opened his eyes while brushing his teeth with Deal O and Rahan. If you win, tell me what I need, Leon said. And Raycon winked at him for a moment, confused. Good. If I win, we'll have to ventilate when we go camping together after that. Which one? The girls were upset, and Leon ignored him, even though he was around. Do you agree? Leon took his hand. How did you help? I'm left alone in the whole gym challenge, said Raikon, playing with his teeth and mind. Gladiolus was agitated and agitated. Ryan rubs his silky head without looking at her, closes his eyes, but finally, being able to stay next to her, he opens his eyes, falls asleep, and cries. All right, want Trap Finch. But I have to pump! I have to wait! Oh, try, you. Rayhan spoke softly, hugging Trapinch, and burst into tears. Trapinch gently beat him and squeezed him gently. <laughs> no. Trapinch gently beat him and squeezed him gently until he died. When Rayhan <laughs> pressed his head, Leon's face softened and his cheeks darkened. Leon, shut up. Let's go to war! Gladiolus kisses her and turns red. The red head turned and looked at him angrily. I miss you, Don Glapu. Let us. Is it good? Let's go, Don Glapu. Lie, Han roared. Credit card crazy! Gladiolus charged with red? to do it. Gladios woke up to Sonia's troubled life. He leaned forward and realized he was in a brand new yellow tent. He stood up and nodded his head in thanks. I apologize to your coach and Leon for that, he nodded. I don't know what happened to Leon. Rehan invited him to camp with us, and he didn't even come near you. Gladiolus cannot be denied. When he and Ryan went to Hammerlock Castle, the boy was dressed, he only had to build a cafe rebelled by the war, he had a ninja sandwich. Or buy it at the supermarket. 
Instead, he returned to his red thoughts. That's where he said it. However, the boys are having a party for all of us, so just relax. Red wants to see you, eh? Why I want to help Nessie build a tent outside. I will see you. Leaning to the side to kiss Gladiolodon's forehead, he left the tent and entered the red tent, his face flushed. Chul, Cut, and Gladiolus were behind his tail, looking at the little Pokemon sheep in front of him. You throw your fight. Red was charged, and Gladius breathed his last. Repent. He spit red, scratching his nose. Yes, I do. Informed, let me know. Shavit received a light blow with a red hand, and the passenger cheered loudly and hugged Gladius. Correctly, Red shook. Don Lapham, this is a drug shooter. His name is Stapler. I'm glad to meet you, Stapler cried. And Gladiolas thought he could not ask why he was given a name, and showed his understanding. Tuttle whispered a little, if that was the result of his teeth. Maybe Gladiolus, and he trembled. Alas, you are a real boy! Hmm. Gladiolus was furious. I'm so sorry? I think he loves you. You're talking really chic, he said. Excuse me. Do it again, Mr. Stapler. Dead, I really taught you all that is good in great palaces, did you? You didn't ask me why my name is. It could be immoral. Tang Depot responded with caution, and the press slapped him without a smile. Good boy, he nodded and shook his head. Sonia's jumper, Jim Ward, will try to jump and climb. Look at the red El Radical. Glodalus looks at her. Can you tell me yet? He asked, and Red shook his head. I'm dying now. He told the king to cut his hair. It's cheddar. You can call it a trapezoid. Nice to know that. Mint grew on his head and looked at the tent cover. How did Rehan get involved? Before we entered, we saw him fighting a lion, said the bracket. Do you want to see them? They protest. I want them to be friends. Tang Diolpo said that when the red skin came out of his head, the two boys calmed them down and spread a bitter pot as if they were trying to pass each other in, a t in an attempt to destroy it. Plate. The dish you love, gently pull the mixture and try to light a small fire in the fire. Sonia took the rice, placed a lot between the table and the pot, and then put something in the pot. They're fine, Stapler said, Gladiolus breathing. I'm very happy, he said, approaching and allowing the red, Zimba, and Cheddar to follow there. He slowly lifts the trap inch to prevent the temptation from trying to help. No, let me go, I doubt it, by Nessa, majestic Pokemon comedian. Thank you, dear, he said. You're so cute. Oh, everyone behind you. Are you lucky? Tang the old poo lowered his head and Luhan fired. Get a list. I'll give you the best job and the best career in my life. That was the only thing we noticed then. If you want, Giala, he fired again but laughed. I know this curry is normal. Burn, Burn yourself into the fire, Nessa read, and the boy silently embarrassed again to avoid the fire. This is G's. The, o <laughs> the older girl opened her eyes and looked at the Pokemon. Anyway, we're ready. Let's take the wall for Sonia and her path so we can all give you a job. The little Pokemon let out a cheering cheer. Gladiolus simply smiled at him before they all went to Sonia. Trapinch slapped his friend. Hey, Sonia. Rehan said when the red hair found in the rice oven started from him, and he accidentally, before pointing at himself, was surprised when Rehan read it. He turned his eyes and pointed to the trapeze in Gladiolus's hands. Can you give Trafinch a great job? He needs a lot of food to grow. His voice was amazing. He was completely lost in the way Leon smiled at him. Yes, check it out. Yes, Al sounds nonsense to me. British Telecom doesn't seem to suit me either. Sonia, 
said Sonia, trembling. Great power, Brianna murmured, then turned into a fire. She laughed and stopped looking at him and tried not to look at Leo. Apart from Leo, I'm still thinking about my team, she said, said. Yes, I know, Leo whispered softly to Rayhan, who was hiding under his head. Without this, Gladys will be loyal to you. Gladiolus Leon Lyon surprised to look out the lights. Everywhere on foot. Yes, I am hungry. Part 9 Veils are interesting. Obviously one of Sony's many talents, and she knows plants just as well. Obviously he was the grandson of a professor, and Don Goodall Pa does so in the way of reed, staples, and trapping. There has to be a clinic. This plant really gets rid of Shepard's cheese. On the other hand, the Nissan Sensei seems to be familiar with Pokemon, and also didn't respond when Stapler, Stapler started chewing trash. It's okay, she assured Shonya through Cory's mouth, and Leon and Rehan lost their laughter, leaning against each other. She does. Help her with her teeth. Have you been near Stapler all your life, Vanessa? Leon asked, pulling the trigger. Our family is a fishing family, so we have Pokemon, he said. I, the Stapler, go to the gym every day without worrying about sports, so I know you. Apparently, five-year-old Nisa was nicknamed Stopra because she saw that her father used a color similar to her cheek. No need to ask Gladiolus Curry TR. Rebellion did not care about the topic and name, and Gladiol knew the uprising before he knew him even on a terrible trip. Design a sun stapler. Find out and name your partner Nessu. Gladiolus shared his experiences, smiled, listened to children, told stories and taught them. Brian spoke a little, but did not scold her, because his coach knew that Gladiolus loved Leon, Sonia, and he tried. They were still talking, and Leon and Ryan hated each other the day the oven was opened and the skin was broken. Gladiolus watched Nessa sleep on stage, just shook hands, and said goodbye to the children before closing. He looked at Pliati, who was staring at the stage scene he had with Leon. Trapins hugged him tightly and tried to figure out what was going on. What is this? He got up when Leon took his hand and dragged it to the tent. Hello, are you sleeping together? Great, the lion nodded. Just another tent. Rihanong shook his head. Wait, wait. Do you have family? Actually, it's Sonia. Leon is embarrassed to admit. Rihan hates the turf chin leaning against the edge of the park sleeve. M my mom can't buy a tent, but Sonja's two tents can fit inside us. That's why we travel together, because I don't have my own camping set. He scratched his cheek. That, so I guess I can't lose. I... Rihanna stood up, warming her cheeks in embarrassment. He hid his face behind a trap in silence. Aha. Yes, Sonia and I were sharing her scene, but now Nessa is with us. She doesn't want to sleep with me. Sonia and I will share if we have a free tent. Leon smiled. I... I think it would be nice if I had another roommate, but I can do it if I want to. Oh, come in. Rahan threw you into the tent. Triffin greeted him happily, and Tangrap greeted him. Can it? Leon laughs, a conclusion that may seem like it. Before he brings Mom and Stapler to the dance, he puts on a good friendship and puts it in the cart. Sonia was fully elect Sonia was fully electrocuted, and the leg of Nessa's sleeping quarters opened slightly, so she put the Tenodini bag in the tent and reopened it. The two Pokemon come face to face, and Gladiolus guides Red forward. Red took care of him and returned to Pokeball. Gladiolus looked at me and Raikon's tent to see the man's two sleeping calves and shook his head. He carefully slipped the red ball into Leon's bag to pick him up, went inside, and dragged Leon to the floor to place him on the left while Raikon lay on his side. Right. Wow. Gladiolus. Ryan got up, 
Leon's friend decided not to lie in front of Gladiolus and rested happily. Hello! Thank you, Gladi, Leon cried. At least one person won more. Oh, shut up. You still play football, he asked, shaking Gradulus. The place had already taken a big place, or maybe in favor of Leon's emotional state, he supported Rehan Hopeful, slowly giving it to him. Glysol had heard Leon's complaint. It simply came to our notice that, at least we didn't have to sleep together. I think you said you wanted a closet. Ryan swells up again, and the clothes are not in good shape. Yes, maybe them fight. Hey, cut it, the lion laughed again in a loud voice. You are Lashika. Raihan was pleased and Leon started laughing again. Gladiolus was happy not to fall asleep. Part 10 Ryan did not stay with Leon, Sonia, and Ness, but met them often. During the broadcast at Giner 2 Mines in Motostock and Motostock, Ryan meets Leon, and every night after that, Lion beats him at work, dinner with good company. After that, Tan Dielbo couldn't lose the fight. Red was so strong he couldn't show Shama and Da every time Tang Dielbo was down. Yes, it is difficult to train Lai Khan after that, but Tan Jalbo was very happy to see his body stronger, brighter lines, wider and stronger. A story for children! Hey Gladiolus? When asked if Truffle would put mud in the bowl, Biggs asked, Why can't I say anything? I don't think Ryan made that decision. He looked at the ditch with a smile. Go on, everything is fine. But his head fell and he felt like it was raining. You have to get out of here! Rahane, with his trainer and trapeze, took the dragon in his arm, grabbed the sword, and headed for a huge magazine. An angry electrician energized them. Sipan, get out of the way! Rehan Gladiolus' grief immediately jumped so that Mankrik could pass it safely. What are you doing? Why did you attack me? Gladiolus looked around suspiciously as Dropinch exited. We've ruined his nest, he called, pointing to a small crack, two lightning bolts flying, calling out to his mother. Rehan looked where he was pointing and his eyes widened. Oh no! He hit Gladiolus to the sides. I think we disturbed his children. We have to stop it. Gladius dismantled a large hat. Mana Electric Speed Runner can go easy. Rainbow's eyes twinkle like lightning. Just a trap to get out of Rihan's hand and attack his head. When Gladiolus rang the alarm and stopped, Raihan jumped behind his wet, wet back and stood between the legs airs to see if it was okay. Is the tea hole right? He said to take the nap and stood inside the Pokemon and stood up, staring at his eyes and his losing spirit. Finger it! The trapeze hangs proudly, and the reality lies in the gladiolus. There is no electricity in the mine! Trapinch looked over Rayhan's shoulder and the boy laughed in fear. Good job! Let's take care of this man electric, Trapinch. Trapinch went to dig the ground, but it was short when he realized that the ground was clean and muddy. She shook her head wanting to see Ryan, and her teeth gritted. No, he can't go down. His eyes wandered as... Nectrick approached the fight left by Tropenshaw and Rehan. Tropench, get out of here! Little nervous Pokemon feared, and shooting quickly as he could, but the rabid made Nectrick, and settled down with attacks and trees that made it back. Gladiolus trapped your rest, fear and anxiety for his friend, and he was relieved when he saw that the Pokemon boy was still going to faint. I'm leaving here! Rehan clenched his teeth. But with this kind of lightning, this kind of magnetic trick is inevitable. Kelly, I'm smart, said Tripson. Gladiolus, I hope to run. 
Maybe. Trapinch closed his eyes and looked at the thought, and Raikon looked around in surprise. Stop the rain, he said, and systematically, suddenly Trapinch came up into the sky and let a kind of roar. Trapchi? He was afraid to ask. Explosion! Sandstorm! The trap roared into the sky, and suddenly a sandstorm appeared, raising Laihan's eyes. As Manectric shook her confused head, he turned around and covered his face. What's up? I can't see it, he said. That's all, Gladiolus nodded and grabbed Laihan, holding him in his arms as he hurried away from Manectric and climbed the steep cliff of Hammerlock Hills where he could see, when they see a Macrocosmos employee talking to a trainer dressed in a Hammerlock gym. They look up to see Gladiolus coming, Rayhan in his arms, and both parents fly happily. What happened? Hunter Macro, to ask, to meet him, and caught him in the upper part of the Rayhan small knife. What did the boy find? Oh, this is Lord Ryan. The runner sighed. He ran to hide behind Gladiolus as Trapinch jumped in front of him. Two Pokemon rescued Rayhan into the hands of two officers. The Duke and Duke are really worried about you. Look back, Rayhan shouted and the coach shook his head. Yeah, of course. They've decided to finish this exercise for you, even if they want me to give it to you. They had a bag full of camps and Basil opened his eyes. If the coach gives it to him, the Duke of Galahad's fears are evident in the Duchess of Udora, but he is proud to see you win three consecutive victories in the gym. They want the best for your trip, but you need to accompany them to dinner tonight. Raihan refused, looking down at the bag of supplies. I... He shook his head. Let's say I'm right back. I will. The coach made a mistake with Macrocosmos and Raihan. Go now! See you soon, Lord Ryan. Right, Raihan mocked. Oh, and tell them thank you. As he passed the hammerlock, the train waved at him, and the crew shook their heads in delight. I know you said you won three birds, but I want you to show up. Saeed and Raihan push down and pull Alduri's keys out of their pocket. The man nodded and pointed to the door towards the hammer. Welcome to your home, Lord Rihud. Rehan was confused and stuck. Gladiolus followed, and the people shook their shoulders until they reached Rihan. By the way, did you make that dust storm in the dust tower? He asked, and Rihan rolled his eyes at him. I saw you had Trapinch with you. He's a strong squirrel who lifted him. He reached for Trapinch, and he lined up under his arm. Good for him for Han, the tar punch joked, sat on his shoulder, and quickly caught him. Yes, that's it. Brianna gave a sheep what trouble. That's my pickle. Good, good, the man nodded. Give me some time. I know one day it will be a powerful flying ball. On the way to the castle, the shook Rahan and Rahan held the tropics on his chest. You know, Trepin shot him in the head and shook his head. I realized I haven't called yet. Ah, it's time, it's time. The shooter jumps and attack Reagan. Reagan shakes his forehead with a soft smile. Yes, I'm sorry I got married a little, he said, pulling away, taking care of Trapinch's head. Because you gave me a sandstorm. And what? Part 11 Gladwell saw him jump out of the net and said, It looks new. How are you today? Dreadnought was now the stapler, and a funny wingle stood over him. The stapler's explanation can't be overstated, so it doesn't matter to me. How are you laughing? The red gladiolus runs in the back, and the size is just as simple as my Soroli. As Charmeleon brushed his teeth, the new trapeze blushed on Daruda's cheek. The kid outside eats curry and doesn't fight for an hour with Ryan Leon, Sonia, and Nessie. When he arrived in Hammerlock Hills, he actually went to pick up luggage at Pokeron Central and local markets, waiting for their arrival. Well, I love the name, 
Darude criticized Ja, who blew his raspberry. I love him. I love him. That's the key, Gladiolus, she said, realized after losing it like a red drink in the country. Eat on and touch Charles. They do not eat. Yes, Raihan will give it to me. This is mine. I will love it. Gladiolus Carmelian was green when he looked embarrassed. In the zoo, he sighed. Okay, Darude, I am now satisfied with your name. 7. Dorito joked about it. The old man came nodded happily and now went to Rihanna. When Gladiolus finally met him, he talked to the other children. He nods with joy. Then I put the basket in the basket. He put his back to the chair. The dishes are weak, so it's time to go to bed. Won't you come with me? Leon asks, unsure of Raychon showing off his blue and orange tent, the Duchy of Hammerlack. Now I have a tent to see. I do not want to disturb you. But Leo began to show signs of injury, and Rayhan stood up and looked away with him with wide eyes. Leo tore his eyes away from Ryan and shook his head as he stroked his hand. Equality. You are right. Hello, Ryan. Son. Rihan sighed, her cheeks tightened, and Claudia shook his head. He gets up and adds another Pokemon to Riha's tent before grabbing the teacher in surprise. Gladiolus? Ryza? asked the lion. What are you doing? Before entering the store, Gladiolus is waving, seeing a group of happy Pokemon. Dorowdy smiled at him as she rubbed her red hand and walked over his forehead. I like your s style, Gladilios, Dowrin said, like red. I do not want to sleep next to Lion tonight, he said. Khan said he wanted to make friends in credit stores. Without Rihanna, Lion was always red. Gladiola shook his head. You will skip it he said, and advised them all to lie down. Well, everyone, take a break. All the Pokemon in the closet complained about their confession and breaking up, and going to bed. The red gladioli caught fire and fled, but Duraldon shook his head and stood up. Just read it, Red said. I'm thinking about Lion. Hope is not a bad kid. Gladio sighed, but the Reds took the lead. You cannot evade me, he said, and the Duraludon grinned in love. Leon, he asked softly. Sorry, sorry, I touched you. Ah, Leon saw a glimpse of his name, and he stood before the Lord, and the teenager came to the door of the house shaking his fist. Ryan, nothing. I'm sorry, I'm angry, and I'm away from you. Sonia and Nisa, I know you both tried. I'm not stupid. Leon cried. I would have cheated on you. Ryan shook his head and screamed. I'm sorry, he also said. I think, oh, no one can judge my actions with you. Leon shook his head. But I think you can explain that. Ryan looked at her. Jenny was very helpful to the police, and so you knew what to do. He explained. Sometimes people are scared or go to someone else. He held Raihan's hand. You said, maybe you need to talk to anyone. Raihan clasped their clasped hands and laughed softly. How much older are you than me? Imagine that you are growing up somewhere else. Where did it come from? The lion comes flying at you with a razor. And I... He looked at Rick from the castle next to them, and Leon cheered. We'll get to Hammerlock tomorrow before we get there. I want to fix it. Sonia or Nisa predicts something different about me before me. He told Leon about it. Red Gladiolus take a deep breath, and Gladiolus light. Okay, Leon grabbed the back of his head. Put it on me. All rights reserved. Brianna Myatt nodded lovingly. Good, long and short. I run away from home. Leon's vision faded at that moment, and 
he slowly pulled Raihan to sit with him in front of the fireworks of their deadly campfire. I do not know. Learn to speak softly, and Raihan to whisper. Anyone with a related TV will see that. He said Leona was like a sheep. There is no telephone at home, he said, adding that Raihan was watching him. Absolutely not. Wooly Park is the only building. Leon laughed a little. I have a mountain in the country. I'm the Water Hick Land. I do not know who you are. I asked Jenny's manager about her. Talk a lot, Rayhan sighed. Leon the boy smiled and shook Leonardo's head. The night you left, Dad and I talked. What is that? Leon asked. Dunno. I can't remember, it doesn't really matter looking ahead, Raihan cried, grabbing his knees close to his chest. And, on my side, that is. Red looked at Gladiolus, and Duralodon bowed. Oh, I... I don't, he spoke, and Gladio cheered a little. I never thought to ask, he said, that I'm grateful to me, you mind. Ugh, you're really talking fancy. Red buzzing and gladiolus for jokes, and turned back to see their trainers. So I gathered gladiolus and Darid of Hammerlock, who went to the desert and bought them. So Gladi got married when I met you, Leon whispered. You also don't have your own camping set. Yes, I did, Mohan wiped. Leah laughed softly and shrugged his shoulders together. Well, don't we have similarities? He asked, and Reyna laughed at him. I think so, but he shook hands. Let's get started. Leon shines, shakes hands, and shakes well. Son of Leon in Postwick. Rihon from Hammer Rock, he replied. Thanks for your patience. Leon smiled shyly and grabbed his nose. Yes, that annoying attitude pushed me to fight better, he said. You make a good opponent. What are you doing? Ryan smiled, and Leon smiled beautifully. Well, if you had won after our first wars, you would never have been your ally. Ryan's eyes widened. If I weren't the best teacher, I would never have lived under the stars. As he looked at the stars and laughed, he saw the stars shining on the first night of independence, reflected in Ryan Leon's golden eyes. You have always encouraged me to be a good coach so that I can always camp with you, he said happily. You are my opponent, Red. When you're not there, I am not as strong as you. Look at that tight smile. Well, I hope I give you strength, too. I... Rehan looked up and smiled. Friday. Leon smiled and looked at me. So, that's enough for me, he said. Red looked like it. They have to go in before it's cold, he said by pointing to two boys who were competed along with the dead fire. Gladiolus, we have to go. No, returned with the red Gladiolus. We have to get rid of them. But... Kokino started, but Gladiolus shook his head as he laughed as Kokinos looked back under a velvet blanket before going down. Gladiolus groaned. But Durolan shook his head. I still don't understand what happened to Funa. I'll work on Carmelian's head. Give as much time as you want. And what are you doing? He couldn't believe it. And Gladio sat down on the edge of the tent and watched Ryan and Leon warm up to warm up. That's the key. When it comes to Alibaba, it focuses on repentance. After all, Tanglapau loves this character. The soft lines on Vassal's lips turn to a smile, his smiling eyes and Kyle's smile. A single event revolved around five necks, and a single head rose like a star under a bright sky. Gladius white flowers are not easy to see in your hand. Anything. Let's say the steel types weren't brainwashed, and that the dragon types weren't wounds. His faithful and loving game of Dural contributes to his flourishing. Come at last to give love.
that was Evil Family reading The Meaning of Love, the only good Duralid on fanfiction. Thank you so much to the author for letting me parody your work. Thank you to everyone who has wished me a happy birthday. And thank you for watching this video in its entirety. And I will see you next time for more translated madness and other things gaming too.